Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to a Daily Moss Super League video. So I've actually, I've been slacking off. I'm going to be totally honest, I've, I've actually been slacking off in my farming and stuff. As you can see, my astrogens are, are kind of building up. They're going, they're going way, way up. And I, I actually, I still haven't, I haven't completed this event. But I, if I do complete it, I'll be able to get one legendary egg. So I think I'll, I'll do this right now and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll grab the egg, I think. Because I need to ascend four Astromons. So basically what this means is I need to get them, like, ascend their star star level, basically. So, um... There's no way I can... I have, like, that many monsters to raise to six stars before it, the event actually ends. So what, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to some maps. I'm going to capture some, like, one-star slimes or something like that. And I'm going to raise them to two stars, basically. That's what, it, that's what my... My plan is, alright? So that's what, what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Mirage Ruins, because I've been farming this map a lot. And we're gonna just go in and we're gonna capture like three slimes. Um, actually no, we need four slimes. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna capture four slimes. And um, I think I think it's better to use one stars, because one stars are cheaper. And I could just release them afterwards. So it's, it's not gonna cost me too much gold to do this. So I probably need to do two runs to, to actually comp complete this. Oh my god, he resisted. What is this bullshit? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna complete this event. And also just a little bit more about what I've actually been doing uh, in the game so far. Now that I do have my Dark July, I can start working on my Dark Petito. But the problem is, I, I was supposed to be raising my Dark Petito today, but um, I actually don't have enough low Dark Stones. Like, can you can you imagine that? I have enough highs and mids to make my Gatitos like from five star to six star, but I don't have enough lows to get them get them from four stars to five stars, which is actually really really dumb. Um, <laughs> But it, it, the good news is it is Dark Day tomorrow, so I'll definitely be able to do that. And I also want to farm a little bit more on Dark Day because um, I've been thinking really hard about trying to get my um, my Dark Miho to to six stars as well. So I definitely do need a lot of Dark Stones to, in order to, to be able to do that. Um, yeah, we're just going to do one more run after this. And as you can see right here, I'm actually raising my my wood wild thing. Um, this is also a monster I'm probably going to be building to six stars very very soon as well. And this is mainly for dragons. She has she's pretty much the best CC monster in the game. Like literally one of the best. Um, I think the only other one that has like 100% CC is um, is is the is the um, the the ghost I think. The ghost, I think, has 100% CC. You could also use the ghost as well, but I, I've been thinking like to use the wild thing because you can get. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. If if the ghost works, I could also raise the ghost as well. All right, we're just gonna do one more run, and I'm gonna capture two more slimes, and that'll that'll be enough for me to um to get everything and get my legendary egg, and and then we can see what I what I actually get. I wonder if you can get a variant from the legendary egg. I actually have no idea. I'm still hunting for that variant Cupid. I think it's impossible. Like, the the chances of me actually getting a variant Cupid is like super super low. The the chances of me getting any variant four star is already really really low. Um, let alone getting a four star like variant, and also getting a a four star variant that's a Cupid. You know, that's oh shit, oh shit, I forgot to. It's it's good that they didn't attack the slimes. I think I only need one more, so I, I don't need to capture any more after this one. Alright, alright. I still have yet to see a light uh, snowy, but I don't think I actually actually really need one. I mean, yeah, if if they if they pop up, I'll I'll definitely capture it. But I'm not gonna like you know like try hard and, and be disappointed if I don't actually get one because I don't I don't actually think I I need that monster. Like it's it's not it would be nice to have. Maybe in the future I'll raise it, so I'll definitely try to get at least one. Um, but I'm not gonna be like actively like you know try harding trying to trying to farm it. All right, I have two slimes. They're all fire too, so I think I have a lot of fire like fruits that I can feed, and then just get them to four stars, or not four stars, uh, two stars. 
Well, what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to... If you haven't completed the event yet, you can probably do something similar. Yeah, with with 10 fruits, you can do you can already get them to max level. And they're already very close to... They're already level 7, so I don't think you need to feed 10 fruits. Um, yeah, I don't want to accidentally uh, feed my... I tried to 2-star the Gleams, but I found out that you can't actually ascend them. So that's why I have a level 10 Gleam over here. Oh wait, I forgot to actually get them to two stars. I wonder if there's a quest if you if you actually get them to two stars. Is there a quest for this? No, there's only a capture quest. There's no um there's no quest if you ascend monsters from one star to two stars. I thought maybe you could get like a like some some gems or something like that. Um, wait, what, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to I need to ascend this one as well. Crap! Oh, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. Yeah, it only costs one low star stone as well, so it's not it's not that bad. I'm actually missing a lot of high star, star stones, but they're really easy to farm, so I'll farm them whenever I need them. I, I've noticed that I'm actually really, really short on them as well. I mean, this doesn't cost too much. It costs 10... Yeah, it costs 10k. That much. Just trying to upgrade a, a gem once costs way more than this. Alright, that's, uh, that's four slimes, and that is my event quest completed with two days left. I mean, obviously, I could uh, I could only do like three slimes, but I, I really just wanted to get my egg as soon as possible, and it doesn't cost me that much, so it's it's definitely fine. Also, I, the th the high the three uh, secret eggs that I get here, I can use them to summon more monsters, and I can use those monsters to um, for rebirths, you know. All right, let's uh, let's summon these and then summon the legendary egg, and hopefully hopefully I get something good. Alright, it's a Mona. Come on, give me give me like a July so I don't have to like rebirth for it. Oh nice, I got a variant. That's that's really nice. I think the the rates for getting variants on like these eggs are actually pretty high. But it's just that I never actually get like a like a four star variant or anything like that. Alright, wish me luck, wish me luck. Oh, it's a it's a Kira. I mean, it's 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 still nice. I mean, it's 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 whatever, right? Um, it's not it's not anything exceptional, but um, I'm not even sure if you can get get any variants as um, or if, if you can summon the variant summon variants with your with your egg. I could try to try to rebirth a variant. I mean, I need one, two. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. I need two more three stars basically. I don't I don't have any I don't have any three stars to use. Alright, so that's um that's really all I can do for 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 this. Also wanted to take a look look at the light ghost. I think the light ghost is really really good CC as well. Wait, where where's the ghost? Oh yeah, the ghost is like a natural natural two star I think. It has stun and sleep. Um, basically, I think it's the it's pretty much the exact same of um, exact same as uh, critical hits have a hundred percent to put the enemy to sleep for one turn. Sleeping foes wake upon being hit. Wait, what about what about the wild thing? I mean, I could always use the ghost if I if it's easier to raise. Yeah, this is petrifying sleep. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I mean it's the same thing, right? All I really need to do is a mo have a monster that has a hundred percent chance to to CC. I might actually stop raising the wild thing and, and raise the light ghost because it's pretty easy to get these. You, you can farm them on Star Sanctuary, and they have a pretty decent leader skill. They have a attack power leader skill, so I can I can definitely use that as well. Hmm. Might actually raise one. If this works, then 
then I can I can actually use them for a lot of things. All right, I'm gonna probably hold off on on raising my wild thing for a bit until I decide. I mean, their their base stats are probably pretty different. Maybe the wild thing has better base stats. Um, but I mean, I can only get to Evil Two, and if I use the Ghost, I can get to Evil Three. So it's it's definitely not not that bad. Um, yeah, I actually want to also show something as well. Um, I think my my new Golem team is pretty stable. Like I, this is this is my new Golem team. Um, it's it's basically this one. This one's the, the most stable one. I think using the Arthur is more stable than the Wild Thing because the Arthur has a chance to stun one of the units. Um, I would like to put in an aggressor. Like I, I think if I can borrow someone else's aggressor. Nobody has any sort of aggressors. Yeah, we got we got nothing. We don't. There there are no no one sitting like a C star or something as their as their main monster. Um. All right. Anyways, uh, I was thinking of raising another aggressor because if I use an aggressor, it's it's really really safe because. All three of these monsters are built like really tanky. And if I use another aggressor, basically any sort of aggressor would work. Like even HP or defense aggressors would both work, because I can use them to. Uh, like the 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 way my heals work is I have one passive healer that heals based that has like a flat heal based on her her own max HP, and then I have another healer like an active healer, which is my Dark Cupid, who has a a heal. That um, the heal isn't ba is based on recovery, but the the shield that he provides is based on the unit's max HP. So it would still make HP aggressors really really tanky. So I could also use the Dark Miho as well. Um, I was thinking of just raising the Dark Miho because it's a lot easier than raising a Light Victoria. Because the Light Victoria would probably like I I already used up all the things I, I needed for fusion for for rebirthing. I think it's it's a better um, it's a better investment for now because I don't need to I don't really need the need a Evo three you know like Light Victoria. But I only have like with this this time during this month like just this one month you know this is my only chance for me to to get the Julys. Um, so I definitely definitely think it, it was. It was a better investment to actually, you know, invest and try to get a July. But yeah, this team is really stable. Like it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty good. Although I would say sometimes some units die. Like they actually someone does actually die sometimes when when I'm farming the stages. But um, I can pretty much three man the boss. It's never the July or the Cupid that dies. It's always the C Star or the Arthur because they're not built with like full tankiness. Like my July and Cupid are are both on triple HP. Um, so they're both like super super tanky, I think. So the only ones that ha actually have a ch have a chance of um, getting killed is my C Star and Arthur. Oh my god, this is this is actually pretty bad. There's no way I can do this without without my Cupid, I think. But I think this is pretty pretty stable. I mean, if I if I run triple aggress aggressors, it might actually be super stable. If I have like three defense aggressors. It would definitely work, but I think I should just replace my Arthur with like a Dark Miho, and then it'll still be pretty good. I mean, like it's it's pretty much 100% stable. I I haven't farmed that much, but I I haven't failed yet, um, and and yeah, it's 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 already pretty good. But I I just think that like if somebody actually dies during the level, it would cut down my farm time by quite a lot. So I think um, I think I definitely don't want to, you know, I don't want anyone to die. So basically, I should probably put in put in an actual aggressor. Maybe like maybe change my the gem set of my C star to make it not like crit rate defense defense, make it like triple defense or something like that, and then just push it with like push the crit rate crit rate up a little bit with like sub stats or something like that. Maybe maybe that would work. I was also thinking of. Uh, Putting in an actual armor breaker, like just another random 
monster that has like armor break on their first skill so I can armor break the boss and hit him harder because a lot of my units actually do hit pretty hard I'm running like these these two um, the July and the the Cupid they're like semi aggressors they're not full they're, they don't have like aggression on both their skills but they do have aggression on one of their skills so they actually do pretty decent damage um, when they're not healing and stuff and they're also like my July is also a tar dark type monster and I did have her with pretty decent crit rate so she's she's actually hitting for for quite a lot of damage as well um, yeah and, and and she's also balanced type so she has a little bit of attack which is always really really nice I don't know I think overall she's definitely a better monster than the dark jack it's just the dark jack has higher base HP and that's the that's the one thing that the dark jack has over her but I think everything else um, she she has like she, she's better you know just uh, the, the aggression is better than sap. That's that's what I mean to say. Aggression, if you have better gems, is definitely better than sap. All right, so that was pretty much it. That was my um, that was my run run. It was about four minutes. I think it's I think it's pretty stable. It's it's really nice. Um, so I think by by tomorrow, I'm probably gonna maybe just spend a day um, farming some more golems because I, I am my gold is, is kind of going down um, and I do have a lot of astro gems to use so I think I de definitely want to spend a little bit, bit of time farming golems uh, raising my units up and stuff and uh, by tomorrow once once dark day comes around I'll I'll start uh, start farming the dark star stones and then once dark day ends I'll start raising my gatito and then after I raise my gatito I'm probably I'm um, probably gonna raise a, a monster, like a actual, you know, decent CC monster, maybe, just to, just to help me, um, you know, help me get through, get through some stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.